Hi everyone, I'm back with another video and I thought I would finally show you how I make my cover pink powder. Every time I do my nails, so many of you ask me, where do you get your cover pink powder? Then I tell you I make it myself and you're like, oh my God, you gotta show me how you make it. So I thought I would finally put this video up. I hope you all enjoy it. I start by filling a small Ziploc bag with clear acrylic powder and a small amount of brown and red acrylic powder with some white acrylic powder. Then I close the bag and I rub the bag between my hands to blend all the pigments and acrylic powder together. Depending on your skin tone, you can choose how much brown or how much red to apply. And because I have red undertones, I like to make my cover pink a little bit more on the pink side. If you have yellow undertones, you may want to add more brown or you can also add in a little bit of yellow acrylic powder as well. After mixing together, the powder isn't dark enough, so I'm going to add a little bit more brown acrylic powder and red acrylic powder and mix it again. Now I'm going to swatch the powder to see if it's the right opacity and the right color for my skin tone. As you can see, it's a little bit too color saturated, so I'm going to add some white acrylic powder and see how it looks. Okay, I added some white acrylic powder and mixed it all together and I also added a tiny bit of brown because I felt that it was a little bit too pink. Now I'm going to swatch this and see how it looks. Okay, it's the right opacity, but I think it might need a tiny, tiny bit of pink to reduce the peach tones because I like a nice nude pink cover powder. So I'm going to add just a tiny bit of red acrylic powder and then I'll be back and show you. I'm hoping this will be the last time that I have to tweak the powder, but we'll see. Okay, I added in a little bit of red acrylic powder and I mixed it all together and now I'm going to swatch it. I'm really happy with how this color is right now and I don't think I'm going to add anything else to it. But before I transfer it into a container, I'm going to put it through a fine mesh strainer to remove any big pieces of pigment or anything else that I don't want transferred onto my nail. And then I'm going to transfer it into a container with a lid.
container is an old container from Juicy Couture. I think it was the um, the body scrub or something, and I used it all up, and I cleaned out the container. And this is, every time I make a cover powder, I always put it in this one. It just looks so fancy and elegant. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this video was helpful to anyone who is curious about how I made my cover pink acrylic powder. The secret's out. This is what I use all the time. Now sometimes I'll make a new batch and the color will vary slightly, but I try to keep it a nice nude pink. But if you still have any questions, then just feel free to leave a comment below.